here we are after a game against Solihull. Any we could talk about congratulations on man of the match, congratulations on two goals, but everything we've been hearing is really frustration that we came out of the wrong end of that game. Yeah, 100% it's frustration because if you see in the game, we was obviously the team on top. Like we dealt with how we was going to press with them and stuff like that because they like to keep the ball and they didn't really do much. Obviously, we was a team with the ascendancy and obviously we led twice and just unluckily we gave two, two rubbish goals that we're going to kick ourselves at. But we gave away the lead and that's how it goes in this league. You get, uh, get punished for your mistakes. I mean, obviously, they're one of the stronger teams and they're, they're good on the ball and... and but I think we did, as you say, our pressing game, the energy in midfield really, for quite a lot of the time, stopped them really getting down to their natural game. Yeah, exactly. That we that was our aim to frustrate them. Obviously, Solnitsky done well in there with pressing the max as well. Um, and that, that was what our game was based on. And we'll get chances, we'll nick the ball from them and obviously beat, hit them on a the counter-attack. And that's what we've done a few times today. And do you, do you see what, when Musa went off, when Mr Diara went off injured, did that upset the rhythm of the team, do you think? Yeah, of course, 100% it upset the rhythm because Moose has been, our rock at the back has been very solid and that back four has been very good, even with champs coming in today on the right back position, they're still solid, do you know what I mean? And Moose is the, the heart of that, he's, he's the rock and see when he comes off it's difficult because in case he goes right back and he's not naturally right footed, do you know what I mean? And it gets all disjointed. So we've been unlucky in that sense, but we still it still doesn't give us an excuse obviously to concede those two sloppy goals that we did. Yeah, and you go, well, I suppose, kicking yourself 10 or 20 minutes and then those two goals given away and there but to be fair we pressed we pressed right to the end but it, it just wasn't to be yeah no we huffed and puffed and that's all we can do but like you said the goals that we give away the first one we can't do nothing about really you could say someone can get out quicker but he's hit a wonder strike and those that that's how it was going the way that the team's going to score they're going to have to score like that because we're not going to give them sloppy goals and then it's just disappointed that we gave it away the two right at the end because minimum we should be coming away with a draw after today's performance Looking on the bigger picture, the positives the last few weeks, uh, it must be pleasing, it's certainly pleasing to the fans that the form's turned around a little bit and the games have been very close but we've come out with, well, clean sheets and wins until today. I mean, what's it been like since Dallas left? What, what, what's the mood been like with the boys? How, how have you handled that sort of um, process of pulling a, together? It's been a difficult time, obviously, with Dallas leaving. Um, it's not been easy, obviously he was, he was a big character in the place and stuff like that, but it, it has been positive around, Ian's done his best to obviously get the boys riled up and for games and see the change in the formation, going to the back four has really suited us, we look more solid, we look more on the front foot and that's, and that's just little small tweaks like that obviously can improve us and that's what we've done, there's a good atmosphere around the change room, everyone's buzzing, um, we've got a good group in there, no one really argues with each other, like we're, we're a tight knit group, which is why the results have been coming, do you know what I mean? Um, at the start of the season you could see how well we was doing that like, we're not bad players we're not bad players at all and today showed that and yeah. if we just carry on with the momentum I mean, it shows today that we could obviously mix it with the people in the top half and um, dominate games and stuff like that so if we just keep this momentum and keep positivity going around the place we'll be fine and next week uh in front of the cameras, I think, isn't it? Next week? Is it Bournemouth next week? So a week to prepare for that. Yeah, Bournemouth's going to be a tough game. It always is a tough game. They're very solid defensively. They don't concede a lot of goals. They don't score much, but they don't concede. And it's going to be a tough game. So we're going to have our work cut up. But I'm sure we'll do a lot of work on the training field this week. I mean, make sure we watch them and analyse them properly and hopefully give them a good battle. And speaking as a working fan, I can't remember many positive afternoons we've had at Bournemouth. So this is a great opportunity to turn that round. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if they've even lost at home yet. So it is, it's going to be a tough order, but we, we'll probably we'll definitely stand up to it and we'll give it our best go. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, Innie. Well, well done on Man of Match today. Uh, see you next week. Thank you.